I love it. All right, well, on to another race, the race to the Red Planet. NASA is on a strict deadline to make sure its July launch stays on track or it will have to wait another two years until the Earth and Mars are aligned on the same side of the sun. It will also mark the first time a helicopter will be used on the planet for exploration. Here now to talk about it is Tarek Malik. He is Space.com editor-in-chief. Thank you so much for joining us. First of all, why do we want to fly a helicopter around on Mars? Well, Melissa, you know, th this helicopter that NASA is sending on the Perseverance rover is the first of its kind. You know, NASA really wants to send astronauts to explore Mars, and those astronauts are going to need ways to really uh, expand their reach. And one way to do that would be to send drones, which we use uh, on Earth for fun and deliveries and, and whatnot uh, uh, pretty easily. Uh, but the atmosphere of Mars is very different. It's much thinner, uh, and uh, NASA doesn't really know how uh, to fly on another planet right now. So this space, this this helicopter is going to test a lot of those theories. Can they fly a helicopter on Mars? Uh, can they do it remotely and, and safely? Um, and how much can they see of the planet? The goal, hopefully, is that they'll see a lot more of Mars than they would without this kind of a device. Okay, so I understand that they have to head off to Mars within the next month or else it will be two more years before we were aligned properly in order to do this. What are the odds that they're going to be able to launch the mission? Well, NASA had an update this week, and they are really confident they're going to make this deadline. Their goal right now is to launch this mission on July 20th. That's the anniversary of the Apollo moon landing, so they're pretty excited about that right now. Wow. But they've already delayed the launch a couple of days because of some delays that have uh, piled up over the last few months. Uh, they've been responding, just as we all have, uh, with the ongoing uh, uh, COVID-19 pandemic that has impacted a lot of their preparations. But they do have a few weeks uh, every two years to do this. So they've got until early August to get off the ground. So they're confident they can make that. If they don't, however, they will have to wait another 26 months when the orbits of Earth and Mars are in the right place to make it uh, really easy and efficient to get to Mars. So then how does that set back the whole program then? I know we're on a strict timeline in order to get humans to Mars. Yeah, so it, it, it does, you know, basically uh, making that timeline is really important not just for this mission, but for its follow-on. This mission in particular, uh, the Perseverance rover, will be collecting the first samples of uh, parts of Mars to come back to Earth. And those samples are going to be left like little breadcrumbs on the surface of Mars for another mission. That next mission needs to come uh, uh, after, in the next uh, window in, in a couple of years. If this mission gets delayed, that sample return mission gets delayed, the, the push to get uh, astronauts on Mars does also get delayed. So NASA really wants to get this. We also saw earlier, uh, because of technical issues, a European mission is going to miss this window to get to Mars. They have to wait another two years to try again in uh, 2022. Wow. That's amazing. Are there private companies involved in this one? I mean, everybody was looking at SpaceX and that last launch. It was such a big deal to have them involved. Is this all NASA? Are there others involved? So this this uh, this mission is is really uh, a NASA and, and JPL Jet Propulsion Laboratory led effort. Uh, if you're uh, if you'll recall, this is the same uh, the same center that built the Curiosity rover, a nuclear powered rover that is exploring Mars mm. uh, today, much longer than its initial uh, planned mission to. And this is very similar in design. They they basically landed a two ton car on Mars with a sky crane. This new rover will use that same type of uh, approach. It does have some some new bells and whistles. It's got this uh, sample return, uh, uh, the sampling system on it. It has uh, the first camera uh, and microphones will hear and see what it's like to land on Mars. And it has this helicopter to test just some new technology that astronauts, when they get there, are going to use to explore the Red Planet. So cool. Thank you so much. We look forward to hearing more about this. Connell.